Good morning. I am going to show you how I pour resin on a painting. This one is going to have to have a little extra resin because I'm using the false eyelashes. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, so be prepared for profanity if it doesn't. Um, first, I start by pouring the resin in here. A little extra resin this morning because of the false eyelashes. Then you add an equal measure of hardener. Once the two ingredients are in there, you want to stir them. I like to use something I can dispose of later. You want to make sure that you stir it thoroughly. Once you have the resin mixed, you pour it over the top of your painting. Notice I built up a, a dam on the edge with uh, masking tape. This is a self-leveling, so you want to make sure that you put it on a very flat level surface because it will have to sit there for about 24 hours. Once that part is done, um, I use a card to uh, kind of move the resin around. You'll notice there are a lot of bubbles in here. We'll, we'll deal with that in the next process here. The resin tends to mix with the paint a bit, so you never really know what the colors are going to look like. Oh good, the eyelashes are laying down, that's good. You want to make sure you wear a mask if you do this because resin is very toxic and work in a, in a very well uh, aired area. Looks like I'm going to have a little trouble with those eyelashes because they want to curl up and they're going to hold bubbles. Okay, when the resin is completely covering the painting, it's not always easy to tell either. Get to my favorite part, which is using the creme brulee tool to uh, get rid of the bubbles. Hopefully I won't catch anything on fire. I may have to put another coat on top of this to uh, take care of the uh, eyelash problem. I'll wait until it dries. It's possible the resin will just uh, has adhered enough that it won't be a problem. Hmm. 
You see I managed to get some resin on my plastic. The good thing about using plastic on the bottom is that the resin doesn't adhere to the plastic and it will pull right off. Still getting bubbles. And I'm getting some color blending, can you tell? And that's all she wrote. Thanks for joining me.